Welcome to Math 280 Online. This is Professor Wilson. I'm going to be your instructor this semester. Uh, I wanted to just give you a brief introduction to the course um, and show you how the course is going to be set up, how things are going to work here on our Canvas page. So this course is fully online. It is asynchronous. Uh, so all of the work will be completed um, on your own time, at your own pace, um, as opposed to having live Zoom meetings. We don't have any live Zoom meetings throughout the semester. So a couple things to take note of as you're getting started. Um, so the course intro module is right here. Um, and obviously, you found this video already, so you've looked at the important information page. Um, be sure to take a look at the syllabus as well. Uh, we're going to talk about it in just a second. Um, there is a brief syllabus quiz um, to make sure that you have read and understand the syllabus. Um, and then our first discussion of the semester, um, just so we can get to know each other a little bit and I can see, um, you know, who's taking the class this semester, since we don't really get to see each other and interact um, face to face. So couple quick things about the uh, syllabus, things to take note of. So uh, you're more than welcome to send me emails with questions. Um, it's probably easier just to send me messages directly through Canvas, um, the Canvas Messenger, Canvas Inbox. Um, it does automatically forward to my email, so I will see it. Um, I don't have any scheduled office hours, um, so if you need to get in touch with me and have a meeting with me, you want to have like a Zoom meeting or something, um, let me know at least 24 hours in advance so we can try to get something scheduled. So there's plenty for you to read through here. Um, make sure that you understand everything that's going on in the syllabus here and ex expectations for the course. Uh, the homework uh, is going to be done through WebAssign, but it's all completely linked through Canvas. So when you want to gain access to our course, just go to any of the assignments that you want, um, or just go to the first one for 12.1, um, and it'll send you to a link that will then allow you to register uh, and use our class key to gain access. Um, you will have to purchase access in order to get the homework set and the e-textbook. So the e-textbook comes with the homework set. Um, it's also linked here in Canvas. Um, you can get a free trial for two weeks. Um, if you're not sure if you're going to stay in the class um, or you're just kind of testing it out to see how it goes, you can use that free trial, um, but you will at some point need to purchase access to get the full semester access to the class. Uh, other thing that I wanted to particularly address, um, this class is going to be using um, what I call soft and hard deadlines for assignments, um, discussions, and quizzes. Um, so the soft deadline is when an assignment should be completed in order for you to keep on track with the course. This is basically um, the soft deadlines are the due dates in the gradebook. So when you look at your Canvas page, like over here, you can see the syllabus quiz, the discussion, our homeworks, all that kind of stuff. Um, they all have due dates associated with them. Those are the soft deadlines. So this is uh, when the assignments should be done in order to keep you on track and keep you moving at a regular pace. Um, so typically those soft deadlines will be coming up um, every week. Um, the hard deadline uh, is when the assignments must be completed by in order to receive credit. Um, so there is a, the soft deadline is when you should have the assignments done, but there is no penalty for missing the soft deadline. So if even though for like this, for the first homework assignment, the due date is listed as August 25th, that is the soft deadline. So if you aren't able to get it done entirely by August 25th, that's okay. Um, there will be no penalty for turning it in later than that. Um, but then the hard deadline, which we'll look at in just a second, um, that is the one where there is no flexibility past the hard deadline. Everything has to be turned in by this hard deadline, um, and no late assignments past that deadline will receive any credit. Okay. Uh, exams and the exam schedule is in the syllabus as well. You can look at our breakdown, academic honesty policy, artificial intelligence notice. 
So lots of information to look through here and make sure that you're doing this as well. Got our course schedule here with our exams coming up about once every four weeks. Um, we'll have more information on those as we get a little bit closer to the exam dates. So the last thing I want to look at is kind of the general breakdown of what the course will look like. So I need to switch my view here. Um, so you can see up here there's a section for recent announcements. Anytime I make a class-wide announcement, that will be posted up here at the top of the page. Um, so you'll be able to see if there's anything that I've talked about. You, you are responsible for any announcements that are given on Canvas or messages that are sent out on Canvas. Um, so please make sure that you're checking those daily um, to see if there's any updates that I need to give you. Um, now, if we go to the week one module. So for week one in particular, you do need to finish the course intro items before you move on to the week one work, but this is the week one work. Um, every week we'll have a welcome page. So let me open this up. The welcome page will always look something like this. So there will be a to do this week, reminders and due dates, and any additional notes that I needed to make. Um, this page <clears throat> is crucial um, to read and understand uh, everything that needs to happen for the week. Um, there have been plenty of times where I've had students where I put you know, that I put an exam date in here, I put a due date for a homework in here, and then I get an email after the date has passed and said I didn't know um, because they weren't reading these welcome pages. So um, please make sure to read the welcome page every week. Um, it's got a lot of important information. So to do this week, uh, we need to complete lectures on the first four sections. Um, homework for those four sections have a soft deadline of this upcoming Sunday, August 25th at 11.59 p.m. So that's what I mentioned. Those are the due dates listed in the grade book, but they have a hard deadline of Tuesday, September 10th at 11.59 p.m. So um, if you are not able to complete them all before the soft deadline, that's okay. You still have some leeway in completing those assignments for full credit. However, once we pass Tuesday, September 10th at 11.59 p.m., there will be no more leeway and anything not turned in by that point um, will receive a score of zero automatically. Um, so keep an eye on soft deadlines versus hard deadlines. Um, hopefully it's not too big of an adjustment um, from regular kind of late policies. Um, and the, it's designed this way to give you some additional freedom, some additional time to be able to finish assignments. I'm sure this is not the only class you're taking this semester. Um, so these are here to help you and to make it a little bit easier on you. Um, and then any additional notes uh, will be included here as well. So always check the welcome page every week for any important information. Um, and then you can see here we've got the guided notes for chapter 12. Every chapter will have guided notes associated with it. Um, those will be posted in the module whenever that chapter begins. Um, so you can see here you can download the chapter 12 guided notes. Um, I would recommend working with them and not trying to like copy over from a piece of paper. Um, you can print them out um, or you can like download them to your tablet and write on them like digitally. Um, whatever works best for you, but there are notes for every chapter and every section in this course. So those are going to be really helpful. Um, so you don't have to be writing out every single thing that, is, that I say during the lectures. Um, the lecture videos are always going to be embedded here within the module. So you just click on one of the pages um, and then it'll have a video link in there and you just watch it directly in the browser here. And then there are the homework sections that go along with those lecture videos. So like I said, if you want to get registered, it'll ask you to load it in a new window. So you'll just click this and then you can get registered and then do all of your homework um, through the web assigned system. <clears throat> and this is basically what the structure is going to look like for any given week. Um, you do need to mark that you have completed and viewed the welcome page every week um, and that'll be a requirement in order to move on to the following week's module. Um, if we have any quizzes or discussions that come up during a week those will also be posted in here. If we have any exam information or study guides things like that those will be posted in here as well. So the modules are your one-stop shop for pretty much everything that we need for the course um, and again keep an eye out 
for any announcements at the top of the page and any messages that I send directly um, to the class through Canvas. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and let me know. Uh, welcome to the course. I'm looking forward to working with all of you this semester. Um, I wish you all the best as we go through the next 16 weeks. Um, and please let me know if you have any questions or need any help. I'm here for you.